Hello guys, welcome to this new video. So this is going to be question 2 in the May 2023 time zone 1 paper 2. So here we are told that a solid piece of chocolate of mass 82 grams is placed over fire. Thermal energy is transferred to the chocolate at constant rate. And the graph shows the variation with time t of the temperature of the chocolate. And at the end of 6 minutes, the chocolate has completely melted. So at the start, we are in solid phase and we melt it into liquid phase. So this is the process that is happening here. And then we're also told the specific heat capacity on the chocolate. And we need to calculate the average rate at which thermal energy is transferred into the chocolate. So this rate, uh, rate of thermal energy is just power. We can also see from the units of watts we need to calculate the power of this pan. So pretty much how was the power of this uh, fire we are using. And well, the way we can calculate this in this graph is that, well, we know that there's this equation where Q is equal to M times C times delta T, which shows that the energy supplied to a, a, uh, to a substance is going to be equal to its mass times the specific heat capacity, times this change in temperature. And then if we want to calculate the power output, the power is just energy over time. So if we can calculate how much energy our chocolate gained in some given time, and we divide those two, then we will find the power of this pan. Now, if we want to calculate energy, we need some change in temperature. So the only portion of the graph that we can use is is this portion here as in this part there is no temperature changing so according to this formula we're not uh, inputting any energy although we are it's just going it's just being used up for something other than changing the temperature which is changing the state which will come up in a later question but so we need to see the change in temperature this pan is able to uh, bring about for this chocolate and these two minutes so it was able to increase its temperature from this is 31 celsius to 45 degrees celsius in two minutes or we could say 120 seconds so we can write that the power is equal to the energy supplied over the time it took to supply this energy so the energy is just the mass which was 82 grams converted to kilograms is going to be 82 times 10 to the minus 3 times the specific heat capacity 1.6 times 10 to the 3 we can make sure that it's in the correct units so it's in joules and in kilograms so that is perfect for us and then we need to multiply by the change in temperature which was it increased the temperature by 14 degrees so that's just 45 minus 31 that's how we get the change in temperature and it did all of this over 120 seconds so this is equal to 15.3 watts which is approximately 15 watts which is what we had to show all right and then we need to estimate the specific latent heat of fusion of the chocolate so this latent heat of fusion can be thought of as as the how much energy we need to supply to a kilogram of this chocolate to change its phase from solid to liquid as what's going on here is that we have some chocolate in the solid phase and its melting point but to completely convert the solid chocolate into liquid chocolate we need to that takes place at a constant temperature as all of the energy that is supplied isn't going to increase the average kinetic of the average kinetic energy of the molecules which would increase the temperature rather it's increasing the intermolecular forces or the intermolecular like the intermolecular forces energy in the substance itself as during as in the liquid phase the molecules will be further apart so the energy is is um, inputted such that the the closer bonds in the solid phase break up so they can form looser bonds in the liquid phase and this is where the supplied energy goes to in the chocolate 
So now we know the power of our pan. This is still going to be 15 watts as we're still using the fire. It doesn't really matter what's happening to our chocolate. The power output of the fire is still going to remain the same as they're independent of each other. So we see that we have a power of 15 watts and we also see how much energy we supplied during this change of phase state as it went, it started at two minutes and it ended at six minutes. So this was a uh, four minutes, which is 240 seconds. So we can calculate the energy that was supplied to the chocolate during this phase because energy is just the power times the time if we just rearrange this formula up here. And then, so this will be 15 times 240, or 15.3 if we want to be more precise, as we know that it wasn't exactly 15. So this will give us 3.67 times 10 to the 3 joules. And then we need to look for the formula that uh, relates energy with the specific latent heat of fusion, which is going to be this in our data booklet. What is the energy supplied to change the phase of some substance? This is the mass of the substance we are changing the temperature of, I mean the phase of, and L is this uh, constant that is for, we're going to need to calculate for chocolate. So we rearrange for L and we see that the specific late, latent heat of fusion will just be the energy supplied divided by the mass we supplied this energy to. So this is going to be 3.67 times 10 to the 3 divided by 0 0.082 kilograms. This will give us 4,500 joules per kilogram. So this means if we have one kilogram of chocolate at its melting point, we need to supply this much energy to make it a liquid chocolate, to change its phase from solid to liquid. And then we need to compare the internal energy of the chocolate at t equals 2 minutes and at t equals 6 minutes. So we need to look at these two temperatures and this temperature. So we see that we, have, we are the same temperature. So we are at the same temperature. Therefore our average kinetic energy will be the same. Kinetic energy will be the same. As average kinetic energy is just proportional to temperature. If one increases, the other increases. But we're not asked for the internal energies at these two points we're asked i mean we're not asking for the we're not asked for the average kinetic energy at these two points rather we are asked for the internal energy and we should know that internal energy is the average kinetic energy the kinetic plus the potential energy of the molecules so we are constantly adding energy to the system right because we're supplying it with, with this 15 watts of power. So obviously the, we are supplying the chocolate with energy. And so the internal energy must increase. So internal energy increases as we supply the chocolate with energy and where this energy goes in the system is the is the potential energy of the of the chocolate so the 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 we're increasing the potential energy of the atoms in the in the chocolate And this is why, well, we need to do this as we know that chocolate atoms. And we need to do this as we know that in a liquid phase, the atoms are further apart than a solid phase. And we need to put in some energy to make this change occur. 
And this is why during this phase, the temperature must remain constant as simply all the incoming energy is, is uh, used up for increasing this uh, potential energy of the atoms. So this was question two in the May 2023 Times of One paper two. I hope it was uh, helpful and see you in the next question.